Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about at least two applications of implicit differentiation. The first application would be on marginal utility and the other would be for MRS. Let us see how we can do that. Uh, we are starting with the function, which is implicit function in which there are a number of independent variables and none of them appear on the right hand side. We cannot see any variable on the right hand side. So this is that function just may say utility ko extract kar sakte hai. utility function humne is may say extract kiya because we are concerned about the utility as the dependent variable. However, it was not explicit. We have tried to make it explicit. Still, we have to go through some steps. Is ke liye hume agar kuch values ko calculate karna hai. For example, marginal utilities ko calculate karna hai. Jaise hum yaha pe MU2 ki baat kar rahe hai. MU2 if we are to calculate this. Jo hum delta u over delta x2 se calculate karenge. So we have to make some arrangements. Let us see what arrangements are required. We know that f is a function of u and then u is a function of x2. Because x2 jo hai wo u ko cause kar hai aur u jo hai wo further f ko cause kar hai overall function ko. So we have this situation in which we are unable to distinguish between the dependent and independent variable clearly. So therefore, there is a need to develop such type of function which is implicit differentiation he possible. Hai. So, uh, is a uh, clear way mein likha hai that u is one of the active variables, u x2 is also, or x1 or baki jitne bhi x ke variables hai, unhe humne silent kiya hai for the time being. So, agar mein isko zyada detail form mein likhna chahu with the partial derivative, to hum aise likhenge partial derivative with respect to x2. Or red color may jo active variables hai, humne unko likha hai. So if we develop a formula for that, that would be uh, you know change in f due to change in x2, direct impact aega iska, or change in f due to u, or u ke upar impact jo x2 ka aega. So aap dekh sakte hai, change in u due to u, and change in x2, that brings a change in u, which then leads a change into f. So you see it's an indirect relationship and here it's a direct relationship. Now we will rearrange because we are in search of this value actually. So it is already there which I have blue color mein likha hua, and simple rearrangement will give me the value of it. And this is that value which I was talking about. Rearrange we did and our marginal utility with respect to the second good is now calculated. In the same way we can do it for nth good that is the last good. Or is can there be yehi process hai? This is a small step that I am leaving on you to do DIY. Aap isko dekhe, video pause karke aur isse solve kare if it is correct because it is similar to MU2. We are going to calculate MUN. The difference is we had a subscript of 2 and now we have a subscript of N. I would like to focus more on something else and that something else is on the next slide. That is, once we are interested in calculating the MRS, the marginal rate of substitution of any indifference curve from such a function which is implicit function, which we are dealing with deal So, uh, this is one example that if we calculate MRS ko between these two goods, that is x2 or x3, we calculate karna So, in that case, f will x2 pe primarily depend on and x3 x2 ko cause karega. So in this way there will be a direct and there will be an indirect relationship. So I have zada readable banane ke liye un variables ko red mein likha jo ke active hain. That is x2 and x3. Aur aap dekh sakte x3 x2 ko cause karega aur x2 jo hai aage phir overall function ko effect karega. So um, this is how the direct impact is written. x3 ka direct asar f pe aur x3 ka asar x2 pe pehle aur x2 ka asar Phir F pe, that is the indirect effect of x3 via x2. Now, this is the formula. Just may say, mujhe apni desired value milegi. This is the thing that I was trying to find out. The MRS, the marginal rate of substitution with, uh, between the two goods, that is x2 and x3. So, iske hum value extract kar lenge. This is a simple step that you can do by rearrangement of the values. Or this is the thing. This is the final answer, the MRS of the indifference curve, that is IC. Between the two goods, that is x2 and x3. Now, this is how we can calculate MRS as well by using implicit differentiation. In this slide, you will see that another MRS is calculated this time between x4 and xn. The process is the same 
آپ اس کو ریہرس کریں دس از سم تھنگ آئی ایم لیونگ فار یو ٹو ڈو مور ریہرسل آف اینڈ یو ول گین فرام دس ریہرسل ایز ویل سو دس از ہاؤ امپلس ڈفرینسیشن کین بی یوز ان دی یوٹیلٹی انالیسز ان ٹو ویز دیٹ از فار مارشل یوٹیلٹیز ایز ویل ایز فار ایم آر ایس تھینک یو